Do you ever find it hard to make a decision because you spin out on all the options? Well, stay tuned. I'm about to share with you how to get out of analysis paralysis and into action. Assistance, if you would like more transformational strategies geared towards you, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when my weekly episodes go live. I'm Annie Croner of wholeassistant.com, and on today's episode, I'll be breaking down why it is that we as assistants tend to get stuck in analysis paralysis. I'm also going to be sharing a simple strategy to keep us out of this tailspin. So this simple mindset shift has proven very helpful in my own life, as well as a number of my clients. So pay attention because if you suffer from frequent analysis paralysis, this strategy is bound to help you too. So the primary reason that we as assistants tend to get stuck in analysis paralysis is because we are afraid. It's all fear-based. We are afraid of making a mistake. We are afraid of misstepping. You're afraid of making a wrong decision. It's basically perfectionism at its highest. <laughs> we are so afraid of making a mistake that we don't make any decision at all, and then we get stuck in this in-between. Now, um, perfectionism can be tricky to overcome, and I know oftentimes we tout our perfectionist skills and we, we want to be a perfectionist, but this is the dark side of that. So this is the underbelly of perfectionism, and that is staying in an action. Now, if this is you, I want to hear about it, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you are a perfectionist, no worries. I think we have all been there at one point or another in our career. So the problem with analysis paralysis is that it keeps us stuck in inaction. But here's the deal, guys. Inaction is a form of failure. So we're not taking action because we don't want to fail, but in not taking the action, we are actually failing. We're just failing ahead of time. So this is pretty wild when we think about it, right? The very thing that we're avoiding, we're actually doing. We're actually failing um, by not taking any action at all. So I would have us take imperfect action, whatever that looks like, and stay in motion. Because when we stay in motion, there's actual potential for growth and there's actual potential for learning. Um, and also, I would have us consider that maybe there's not a perfect solution. What if there was no wrong decision? What if there was a decision that may be better than others, but no wrong decision at all? So we try and we grow and we try again. Again, and that's how we grow guys and it's also a great way to stay out of inaction and to make sure that we are moving forward so um, so that's my number one tip is for you guys to stay in action is to just take a step just take a step and if it's not the right step you will learn from that hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to be on to yourself when it comes to analysis paralysis please leave a comment below sharing what action you will take today I help assistants get everything done free from overwhelm and burnout. If you're curious whether working with me in a coaching capacity is right for you, please email me at annie at wholeassistant.com to schedule your free 20-minute discovery call. To continue this discussion and receive support from your fellow assistants, please head on over to facebook.com slash groups slash wholeassistant to join our assistance only community. If you like this episode, please let me know by hitting the like button below. Also, be sure to subscribe and share this episode with your fellow assistants and administrative professionals. And last but not least, if this episode has helped you in any way, I want to know about it. So please leave a comment below sharing how.